Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Mark Siegel, is with us. Doctor, I've got a series of questions for you. Uh, not exactly technical, but I need answers. First of all, you have to have two shots of this vaccine, right? 21 days apart. Is that accurate? Correct, Stuart. I wrote about this in my new book. This is the power of science. It's, it's, it's a month apart, and it has to be kept, kept extremely cold. And that's one of the reasons I'm glad the mm. Department of Defense is going to be involved with distributing it. Now, there's 44,000 people in the United States that have gotten this vaccine. And they, just what we've been talking about on this show has happened. Over 90 who had mild symptoms of COVID or were infected with COVID had a dramatic effect with this vaccine. 90% of them showed a clinical response where they didn't get sick or they only had mild symptoms directly linked to the vaccine. That's what's called events. That's what's called effectiveness. The only thing left now is to determine safety. And Stuart, I want to give you good news on the safety front. First of all, that's going to be out by the end of the month. But there's a data safety monitoring board that's looking this over. And if there was a safety issue, we would know about it right now. I okay. absolutely predict very likely this vaccine will be out by the end of this month and we'll start to see it roll out in December. Very exciting news today. Uh, 50 million doses available this calendar year, 2020. 1.3 billion doses available next year, 2021. Who do you think gets it first? Well, that's going to be decided, right? And, and here's what I think. I think that we have to give it to those in high-risk groups, those in poor areas. Healthcare workers on the front lines have to get it right at the beginning, Stuart. Because if I get it, I can then go on TV here and say, hey, I did fine. You're next. We need vaccine compliance. And we got to give it to our elderly and to people in nursing homes. That's the group that's been dying from COVID-19. They have to get it right at the beginning. Very, very important. Is this the result? Is this vaccine from Pfizer? I don't think Pfizer was part of the warp speed program, but did they benefit from President Trump's pumping money into the, far, into the pharma industry to get this thing going quickly? Yes, but Stuart, they are part of the warp speed program in, indirectly. Let me explain. It came from a company called BioNTech in Germany. They made the vaccine. Pfizer got involved and started testing it here. Operation Warp Speed then put it on the docket and, and paid for 100 million doses. So they are involved with the distribution of this, and they're going to be involved in, in terms of the money and supporting it. So it, it, is an, a, a, it is a plus for Operation Warp Speed here. Okay, it looks to me like a game changer, and the market seem to be believing that as well. Doc Siegel, thanks very much it, indeed. Go on. I think... I think, Stuart, it will kill off the pandemic. It's very, very promising that this could be the thing we need. All right. Dr. Mark Siegel, great way to be with us this morning. Good way to start Monday. Thanks, doctor.